keep forgetting how expressive this game gets sometimes. It sounds like crashes a lot more than just a stoic being. Oh, right away. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crash 3 Warp Part 5. If the episodes are titled correctly, last episode we managed to find a gem that was hidden here in, uh, let's see, Deep Trouble and managed to go back to get one of the... use it to get one of the other boxes or the other gems for the previous levels. In this episode, we're going to carry on with that trend and go on to high time where we can walk away with two gems provided I don't die. That's a little bit a lot to ask for and a little plot. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. You keep doing that. But anyway. Alright. Hang time! Like I mentioned earlier, we have a chance to walk away with two gems instead of just one. Though, however, to get the purple gem, we get to a certain point in the level without dying once. Or as, we, or as it's known in other Crash games, the death route. And that, given my little history with this game as of now, I'm gonna be kinda curious to see if I can get to the death route. Just make it up here. Okay good, I didn't get screwed over right there. Break some more crates. It's the same old usual trope. This is kind of like the last time, only there's a little more trickier at some points. We go way across. You are kind of in a jerkish placement that I cannot slide you that easily. Just wait it out. There we go. Okay. Be very careful with the ninjas, I guess, because those Moltals that they throw will combust and they can catch Crash if he's jumping. And Okay, there we go. I got a little concerned about so why Crash was dropping for a second. Change to the crest before, spin attack whoever gets close to you, break those crates. I was so sure the scorpion was going to help me out there, but I guess not. Go break these little crates. So yeah, as of this level, I think this was the, the halfway point where I really played this game, because the most that I ever got to see this game was through my cousins, who also introduced me to a bunch of other series. Like if they weren't playing this, they were probably playing one of the Final Fantasy games, usually like 7 or or 9. Really should consider going to those series. But, before we continue on, we have a little bit of a puzzle to solve this time. And... This one's not too bad, but you do realize that we need the double jump in order to make that jump. A little bit of redundancy right there. Go ahead and break these, you can't... Do you just super jump on them? This stuff shouldn't be too bad to worry about. Okay, a little bit of a puzzle. To make life a little easier, spin attack that crate. Get rid of that one. Then just... Then just break these crates. Should break on their own. There we go. So, like, with the multi-box hitting boxes, if you just jump on one and then go to the other one, you can actually break the multi hitting blocks on, with one single jump. Like in, they're next to each other, you jump on the one close to you, then you go to the next one, jump back to the first one that you jumped on, and you can break it a lot quicker if you don't want to collect Wumpa Fruit. Almost left that crystal back there, but let's go fix that. Where are you? Oh god, Aku Aku's right there. Didn't think there was a platform, but here it is! The Fabled Death Route. Make it here without dying, you can go up here and try your luck for a gem. And much like the hidden routes that we saw in last episode, these are substantially harder compared to the normal route. It's not recommended that you go at them right this time, but why not? We'll see what we can do. Just stay still. As long as you just stay still, you don't have to worry about it. Jump over when the fire is down, keep it moving. So far so good. Please don't move. Okay good, they don't move. That one moves! Crash, stay still. Okay good. Just wait right there. Made it. You. Oh, sweet. Double shot. Alright, we can drop. You are such a jerk with a placement. Please work. Thank you. Just wait for him to drop and then go for the other. You can come back later and get an upgrade that makes that segment a lot easier, but I'd rather try my luck and see if I can do it right now. Get rid of the scorpion. Oh, jeez. I actually don't know if I can make that jump. Okay, just wait. Hopefully I didn't go too far off to the left. Thank you. I kinda like the little beat that comes right here. Oh, that's just mean. Thank you, double 
jump. There's our jump. Got it. And, oh, actually, we have to go back to the level? Alright, that's... I thought we could get both jumps in one go, but alright, I'll take it. Okay, since we ended up getting that gem on a separate run, I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and cut back the fish to where we were before we hit the death route. And now that I don't have to worry about dying, I can be a little bit lenient. So, I'll meet you guys back where we hit before the death route. Okay, we're back. Missed out a couple of things and I usually thought that the death route disappeared when you died because I did die twice on the way here, but... Alright, I guess I must be remembering something wrong. Well, I'm thinking crash one or two. Oh jeez, get back up there. Now, the rest of the level is actually pretty simple, all things considered. You just have to worry about this monkey right here. Also, I totally forgot that you could just spin attack in. That is just jerkish. Never mind. Wait, what? Come on, there we go. Perfect. But it looks like our sword swinging friend has gone from swinging blindly to just throwing it. Fine enough for me. And it's kind of a jerkish placement if you ask me. Get a checkpoint. Jump over the sword. Slide under him and... I was so sure I would get him. Oh jeez. Oh boy! Thank you. Get rid of you. Okay, rest of it is just TNT. Actually, buddy! Go over here, man. Thank you. This level's not too bad, just climbing up climbing up places, breaking boxes, making sure that making sure you're winning the drop shadow of the rug. It's actually a little hard to see on my TV, but I will run with it. There we go. Get our extra gem. The rest of the world should be there, and we are done. So not really that long left, but I guess I don't mind too much. Anyway, as much as I would not like to cut again, we can actually show off that purple gem. Remember in tone time that we couldn't get most of the boxes? Well now we can do that there. So I will meet you guys at the, at the section of tone time that we could not progress much further, put the rest of the boxes along the way, and I'll meet you guys there again. Okay, we're back! Anyway, before we head on to that section, let's go ahead and nab these crates right here. Because we cannot open that segment until we had the box, the purple gem. Anyway, ideally you want to wait until you have a certain ability, usually at the end of World 3. But I think we can make this jump. Slight jump! Nearly cheap death. And we go on to a hidden part of the level. This is where the rest of the crates were. Also watch out for those lights. That I completely just barged into. Anyway, if I remember correctly, this particular segment's kind of a jerk. I could have slid under him, but I will go ahead and take that. Got some more lump of fruit. More crates to break. Let's move on. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Let them drop for a bit. A lot of new mechanics, actually, that I... Ah, jeez, I forgot how slippery the oil is. Crash, get back on there! Or you can fall to the abyss. That works, too. Okay. One more feeling. Wasn't feeling that run anyway. Getting a little bit easier to control Crash now that I've gotten a little used to it. Go to the side that doesn't have him, slide into him. Love the slide. Wish Mega Man's slide would work like that. Not only can you just slide into enemies and do damage like he could in Smash, he can also jump out of it. Super versatile ability. Go slow here, go slow here. You monkey. Okay, there's my Q. Maybe not my Q. You're gonna crush me, aren't you? Oh, wow. No. Okay, this particular segment. This opens up an old path. We get a gem out of it. And now, the hard part. We didn't get all the gems. Or all the boxes. So now, we have to go back. On one end, this means I don't have to deal with certain traps anymore, but it does make certain segments a little tougher. Like that. 
Okay, uh, 75 jumps. Okay, there's one right up there. Thank you, double jump. Up here, come on. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, good, checkpoint. I think I can just save up on some of them. But now I do remember that there's still more. Only 10 more to go. So... Jump over. <sighs> okay, we're not that far off, and it did save my boxes, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, jump over this way. Need to get shot. Get back the life I lost. I am only a couple of crates away. Oh boy, this just got a little hard. Oh, Dread, I might have screwed this up royally. Alright, uh. I think the only way I'm making that jump is if I slide it. Here we go! I did it. Okay, last four are back there. I'm going to sneak my chances and slide it. I can't make that jump, can I? Well, this bites. Okay, that's it. I'm going to... Actually, wait. I think I can make that jump. I should be able to make that jump anyway. Not if I play like that, I won't. I'd restart the level and do this again because of reasons. There it is. Sweet. Okay. Only four more boxes to go. No! Oh, Jesus. Okay, four more to go. Almost fell off, almost fell off. It's okay, take a breather. I don't know if I can make that jump with a slide. Oh, one way to find out. Oh, hey, made it! Good! Oh, and back off, back off, back off, crash. Cool down for a bit. Okay, good. All five of them. Do I dare go through that again? Okay, never mind. Good. All the box gems. You know what? Let's just tackle the level normal. Perfect. Jump over here. Don't you dare die on me, Crash. Good, I almost fell off. Okay, we got all the levels. I will meet you at the- No! I will get all the crates and I'll meet you at the end. How about that? Okay. We finally got all of them. Don't do what I did and try to get everything in reverse. I know there are some levels, especially in Crash 2, one level in particular in Crash 2, that has you do that. But for the sake of sanity, go get some of the crates until that from the front before you go do them in the back. But if there's any good from out of all this, we not got one. 
but two gems. From and we pretty much got almost all the gems for that level. Now we can carry on back into this world. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to nail almost all the level. I think I'll go all the way up until we get five levels, and we'll call it an episode. So with that said, let's go for Road Crash. And if I remember correctly, this is one level where you can not only get the time relic, but also the gem at the same time. I'm pretty sure that was how it went. Wheelie, and let's get on with it. Or we'll try and see if I can get both. Okay, simple enough so far. Oh, I hate that turn, I hate that turn! 25 boxes, not that bad of a drop. And you may have noticed how many lives I lost. That is... not a lie. Okay, as long as I can just stay straight, car get out of the way. I am not doing terribly well, but I can fix that as soon as I can. This car is blocking me! Seriously! Well, I can't get anything unless I get the crystal at this rate. But the rate I am driving it is not hoping it matters at all. Simple. Out of my way! Uh, get some more. It's like 17 or so. Oh uh, boy. Yeah, no. I don't think we're winning this time. Yeah, I haven't even broken first. That's the weird thing. You little... This car's been blocking me the whole ride! Okay, screw you, car. Up we go. Okay, I probably would miss like around five. I don't know what the brakes are in this. Almost. How did I not fall off? There we go. That time I should fall off. And that time too. Not my day. Not my. Not my day. Okay, heading out some previous attempts because really, this level's been so far being a jerk so far. Let's try this again. Big thing that might help out is that if you tap the direction you want to go, you can turn make the turn a lot easier as opposed to just pulling all the way because that's when crash starts swerving. And ideally you don't hit the bumpers. With that hot rods. My way past here. On my way, you little cortex car. Okay. Don't quite exactly remember if it's possible to get the relic and the time and the gem or the box gem at the same time, but I think I can do both the crystal and the relic. There, speed past you. There's the boost pad. There we go. Something tells me I missed the crate. I have a feeling I missed the crate. And I am going to be right, aren't I? Help me, uh, you little. Okay, like, I'm super close to the end at this point. But I am in much better shape now. And all I have to do is just focus on maintaining the lead and getting all the crates. Still thinking I missed one. Hold it together, Crash. Boost right here. Oh no! Come on. All I need is just one more. One more crate, one more lap. And I... I knew I missed one. Oh well, because that level's been kind of a jerk, I will get the box gem off screen. 
So to carry me on and make progress, I will go ahead and tackle the next one and call it in. Oh, that took forever. Okay, last level, double header, and I'll call it in at this point. But so far it looks kinda reminds me of Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will inflict a thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. Really, Cortex, is this new for you? Oh well, some things never change. But here we are, double header, and well, I'm starting to see why they call it double header. I can't spin attack him. That's weird. Oh well, but we're back in the middle, middle east or medieval times. Just ignore this little sucker and the way he's not swinging, and you should be good. Nitros are back in full force. Don't worry about, don't worry about the crabs. And oh, I can just launch the frogs at the nitro. That'll work. That'll come into play when I need to go back here. Let Mr. Sword swing. Slide into him. Love sliding into enemies. Oh, I know how to do this one. Get to a safe distance. That should take care of everything. Thank you. This is definitely a lot more easier compared to everything else I've been going through. Break those crates. Break this one. Get rid of the goat. Oh, jeez, I can't stick around. This one too. Now let's head back and take care of the other things. Oh, you didn't blow up. I can fix that. Come on, Crash. There we go. Anyway, did I leave anything back here? I think I'm okay. I'll go ahead and move on with the main path. But I do like hearing this little theme. Such a great way to open up the whole experience. Checkpoint. Wizards aren't that big of an issue. All I have to do is just move towards them and jump over the shots. And that's it. Because I remember hearing people saying that these guys are really annoying to deal with. But all I have to do is just move, press on. Also, I'm really hoping that we have a nitro box at the end. But this is starting to look like familiar territory. Also, it's slowing down a little on my end. Not sure if it captures it on the footage. But anyway. I kind of like the idea that it's raining and thundering, but it kind of looks like it's... No, it does look more like rain than snow. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't. Unless it's a blizzard, they would make it go fast. But oh well, I am not a designer. Even if I'm trying to be a game designer when I get out of college. But what do I know? I do know that I do need to get back up there and... I might screw myself forward, did I? Yeah, I screwed myself over. Okay, let's try this again. Don't touch the TNT, I guess, is what they're trying to tell me. Grab these. Body slam to the floor. Keep going back and forth over a few moves. That also looks kind of fun, actually. Okay, hop on over. That shouldn't have happened. Please don't tell me I need to cut away some more footage than I need to. Please don't tell me I have to do that. Back down. There we go. Knew you had like something to work with. I believe this is a little crate. Nab these before you blow up the TNT. Away. Awesome. 
long as I don't, as long as I remember not to blow up these. There we go. This should do it. Awesome. Got it. More levels, more crates, more boxes, and this is going to be a certain interesting piece to edit over in the future. Just wait for it to decide not to swing. Slide over and don't fall off. Good. Prince Charming, you're going to have to stay like that for a while longer. Or I am not the person you shall kiss. Don't quite know why they put this over here. But I do know that I have a... Oh, I can hit that guy. I just have to jump really high. Get the, get the crystal. A little short on some items. Leave him alone. I keep saying how easy it is to dodge the wizard and I die to it. That's... That's something, alright. Screw you. Karma and Malice come full circle, don't they? Jump over you. Again? <sighs> come on. Shake it off and move on. You, up over you. This is getting old. Up over you, get rid of you, finally. Just wait for the side that he's not gonna swing. There we go. You get a little unpredictable. Go to the right. Thank you. Get my gem. And that is going to do it for this episode. And god, that was brutal. So, got the gem. Oh, got the crystal. Got the gem. And that will just about do it for this episode. Next time we go on to Crash 3. We will continue on with our journey, and proceed to fight with Mr. N Trophy. I would make a mugshot joke, but I don't have much to work with. Uh, actually, he's got a smug face, so I can work with that. And a tuning fork forehead. Or, part of his home. You get the idea. See you guys next time when we take on N Trophy. And my face is going to look like that after editing. See you guys next time.